Merry Christmas, y'all. It's uh, Christmas Eve. I'm out rock counting by myself because the rock queen had to work today. And I'm in, I veered out of a wash that's a tributary to the Santa Clara River. I'm hoping later on to finish this video off by going down to the gravel bars of the Santa Clara River. I'm not finding a lot that I really want to keep today, but I just came across this agate right here. Let me pull it out and see what how big it actually is. Not that big. It's not banded or anything, but I'll probably keep that and give it to a friend that's just getting into lapidary. And I'll turn you back on when I find something else that's interesting. It's windy and cold out here. I just came across this giant piece of uh, hematite jasper. I can't even move it. But there's stuff out here. Uh, we'll, we'll see what else we can find. I came across this piece of banded ironstone, hematite jasper. small rock very very heavy you know we had rain two days ago so you would think I'd be finding more it's kind of disappointing I just came across this piece of yellow jasper it's got some quartz in it I'm gonna take this and give it to my lapidary friend well, I hope you can hear me I'm down on the Santa Clara River now on a gravel bar seeing if I can find anything interesting I found this piece of uh, sandstone and it's got a lot of heavy iron in it and the iron's what really binds the sandstone together that's why all the rock that's sandstone here in Utah is so red it's all the iron and you can see how the iron sticks out further than the softer silica sand because it's so much harder it's kind of an interesting piece so I drove down onto the gravel bar since I don't have boots that can go in the water today and uh, the Santa Clara River was originally explored by the Spanish looking for beaver pelts and up to a couple of years ago I used to find beaver in here I don't know if they're still here any longer or if all the construction has driven them out but uh, when I come across something interesting I'll let you know most of what I'm finding on this gravel bar is are pieces of the same rock I was finding up in the tributary wash. They're just tumbled, pieces of rhyolite, basalt, sandstone, more sandstone down here. But here's a great big piece of red jasper I can't even move. And it's been tumbled and worn somewhat. So as I was searching, this piece kind of kind of sparkled to me. So I went, picked it up, washed it off, and it is a piece of agate. You know, I find that with these tumble rocks, it's a lot harder for me to find the stuff I'm looking for because it really changes how they look. All right, so here's what I found. I got a piece of conglomerate here. It's not focusing. It doesn't want to focus. I had to look at it pretty close because I thought it might have been a piece of concrete at first, but the rock size is too inconsistent. I don't see any Portland cement in it. Then here's some tumbled sandstone, nice banding in it. And here's the tumbled red rhyolite that comes from way up in the wash from the volcano. And here's the vesicular basalt of which up in the wash uh, and this is a tumbled version of it. It's nicely rounded. And then I think this is a piece of granite or diorite that's been tumbled. There's a lot of mica in it. I don't know if I can get you to be able to see that. If I can get the sparkle in that. But there's a lot of there, uh, there's a lot of mica in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then here's that piece of agate that I found. Hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'll see you again.